but this is my uh, 2008 Honda Odyssey I've been driving it for more than a thousand miles now um, everything is working except for some cosmetic issues like uh, uh, this one I haven't fixed this one yet uh, the leather seats yep so far the other seats are good um, driving it um, one of the issues I found is that there's some clunking noise the clunking noise is coming from this side uh, which I believe is the sway bar link me so I have it in the uh, ramps now and there's also some other clunking noise that happens at, say above 60 miles an hour uh, pretty much it's not the bumper because I secured it um, I don't think it's this one too I just still need to fix this uh, there's some missing clips in here I think they fall down so and check I gotta check the uh, the sway bar and link here because that's my suspect my CV axle is tight and uh, I don't think it's the ball joint but oh yeah there it is. Yep. That's the sound. So it needs a new sway bar link. Yep. And I believe the other side is okay. And let me check the heat shield here because they are prone to make those noises too. Oop, that's weird. Oh, okay. Oh, I know. Yep, this is the sound that I hear. Somehow this heat shield doesn't have any support anymore. I need to put some washers in there. Okay. Yep. Uh, my neighbor is actually cleaning up the yard, so apologies for the noise. But I think this is the major noise that I hear. So far, the sway bar and like happens only when I do turns. So. And it's only happening only on one side so I don't know if making the left or right but it does make a sound when you when you turn I'm going to use one of these uh, shims uh, in order to hold the uh, this uh, heat shield it should actually like fit it here it up really good yep. okay now it's untight just uh, position it hopefully this will last and not last at all yep. how do I do tighten it at all. It 
to even make a noise. Yep. yep. The sway bars are terribly shut. Yep. Yeah, the boots are torn. And this one pretty much torn. And they are actually really hard to take out. Especially this one because there's no space for my impact. Yep. So this one is easy, you could do an impact for this one and hold this side. This one, I don't know. We'll try. How bad is this thing? I have to pound it with a hammer. Yep. Ah. Yeah, this is such a pain in the butt. So what ended up happening is uh, I just like yank this out because uh, my vice grip is not uh, gripping these are like the Harbor Freight uh, vice grips they're not really good at all and I don't know where did my uh, vice grips went I have a Craftsman one and I can't find it but yeah this way bar end links are terrible to work with if they are really seized or very rusted because um, you have like uh, uh, limited space for your power tools to to loosen them yep. and this one I can't even use a hex one because the uh, the uh, uh, the hole is uh, rounded off we got that uh, stupid ball joint well it's really a ball joint my uh, replacement uh, sway bar end link and it's non-greasable yeah i don't believe in uh, non i mean greasable uh, ball joint uh, sway bar end links because uh, usually the boot uh, gets destroyed first so yeah i mean What's the point of being greasable if your uh, boot is ready to turn? So, yep. So I'm going to put this one in and sure if I've got it this one in. Ah, okay. So I got it tightened with. I'm gonna take out this uh, number hex. Uh, uh, what they call this? Yeah. Uh, hex socket that I put into, into this uh, bolt over here so that it will not turn. So, yep, and, uh, bolted in, and uh, the tire is ready to put them back.